，你知道这是什么地方吗？我看了好像有点像个艺术博物馆，不过我还真不知道这是什么地方。那我们来找找这边的主人，问问他这是什么地方。Sharon, hi. Hi, can you explain me where this? It looks for me like an art museum. Oh, this is plastic surgery, uh, like a Korean plastic surgery center. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, so it's making people for duty link with art, right? Yes, of course. Uh, cosmetic surgery is uh, like beauty. Yeah, it's, uh, we have cosmetic surgery center mm -hmm. and then laser skin clinic and okay. hair transplant and then a scalp clinic mm -hmm. and then um, skin care too. Uh, okay, yeah. great. We have seven uh, different division here okay, for nice. make beauty. Oh, so when you make me to be beauty, <laughs> it sounds great for me. Do you want it? <laughs> of course I want, of course I want it. <laughs> Why not? But also I heard this uh, very great doctor from you. Oh, Dr. Clinic. Sue, oh, definitely. Dr. Sue, uh, he's from like, a, he graduated from like Harvard and then finished with you know, Stanford. It's the best profile, I think. In, in even like in Koreatown, in, in, even in Beverly Hills Center. Oh, so really? I think I'm so proud of him. I mean, you know, and then uh, the first thing, he's very clear and then very delicate. And then I think nothing to compare to him. Nobody oh, really? compared to him. How's the most anybody. patient after his surgical very, very, reacting? Very satisfied with the you know, result. 애철들과의 그 연결을 가지고 있고요. 어, 한국에서 그 압구정이나 신사동 또 강남 그런 부분에 있어서 많은 닥터분들을 또 어, 접한 경험이 있고 또 그쪽에서의 그런 수술이나 어, 그런 트렌드를 읽는 그런 일을 어, 제가 하고 있습니다. 医院这个是这个医生呢很特别，所以呢，他是一个有五张世界上顶级学校的文凭，他包括那个两张哈佛的，还有那个 Stanford 的，这一般的老百姓呢，有一张都了不起了，可这位医生既然有五张这样的文凭，哇，好神秘，他为什么有那么多这个？他这么这么喜欢做这个职业，他一定是非常特殊。你想知道他的故事吗？让我们来慢慢告诉你，好不好？ I grew up here. All my education was here.、Um, and after high school, I went to Harvard for college. Afterward, I decided to stay there for medical school. So I stayed for another four years.、Uh, and by that time, afterward, I decided to come back to Stanford for training, six years of training,、uh, pretty much in all aspects of general surgery and plastic surgery, reconstruction too.、Um, a lot of cosmetic, a lot of reconstruction, a lot of the complex cases. Because you know, Stanford, just like UCLA or Harvard, a lot of these other places gets referred a lot of the more, more complex cases. You know, so I enjoyed it. It's pretty fun.、Uh, I decided to stay on faculty about two years、um, after that,、uh, mostly because they wanted me to help with continue to teach teach the residents. One of the awards I won during residency was to be was a、uh, Stanford Medical School gave me an award for being the,、uh, one of the best teachers. So I think that what you say is, is true. I think that when you're going into plastic surgery, there is an aspect which, of course, is medical, and of course, of clinical. You need to think about the patient's health and what's good for the patient.、Mm -hmm. uh, but that's you're right. Combined with another level of、uh, complexity, which is to really think about aesthetics and、mm -hmm. really think about what will look good for this patient.、Mm -hmm. Every person's different. Um, the beauty has to be tailored, I think, even to the person's personality. That's you know,、right. and, and there's a lot of differences with regard to people's personality, what their general shape is,、um, mm -hmm. how you can make small changes to really make them look better, but still have them still look like themselves. You know,、mm -hmm. I think that's one thing I like about plastic surgery. I think that it's really nice to have sort of this、uh, blend, where,、mm -hmm. and it's and it's challenging, where you really have to、that's、kind、true. of think about the technical aspect of how to do the surgery well. Um, well, first, really, with a judgment. When you evaluate this patient, evaluate the person.、Uh, what do you think will make them better,、mm -hmm. uh, look better? What it is that they're concerned about,、mm -hmm. and then finally, once you have that idea of、uh, what your goal is, 
um, how to do the surgery in a way that it will give nice predictable results, have them uh, look a little bit better without being um, looking unnatural, without looking uh, like somebody else. Um, you bring up a very good point. Um, there is a difference between Eastern conceptions of beauty or Asian conceptions of beauty and Western conceptions of beauty. And in fact, when you look at a lot of the, um, the plastic surgery that's done in the United States um, versus the plastic surgery that's done in Asia, it's different. You know, people have different concerns. They start out, the patients, of course, start out differently, and the goal is to be different, too. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, in terms of my training and what, um, what I look for in my patients, mm -hmm. is really how you strike that right balance, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, I think this is the most difficult part mm -hmm. because everybody has its own beauty mm -hmm. and it's their own surrounding. Right. And the West always looking, ah, oh, this is very Asian beauty, mm -hmm. which Asian is, makes very wonderful. Is it that one really beauty? <laughs> yeah. So we have a very different, you know, fee, uh, some, some kind of point of view. So this right. is difficult for doctor to do mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I think that, um, you know, the truth is that I think there is a lot of very interesting concepts that you can apply from one to the other, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the case where Western is strictly Western and Asian is strictly Asian. That, that's, not, that's not true. Mm -hmm. I found, for example, in some of the surgery that I do with, um, with Western patients, there are certain things, for example, let's say when we do breast augmentation, mm -hmm. and a lot of those things we can actually apply those to more of an Asian body and get a, uh, I think, an even better better result for the Asian uh, body mm -hmm. based on some of the things that we do on Western because mm -hmm. you want to have a little bit of a blend, I think, you know, mm -hmm. okay. um, and uh, I think that's that's also true for face as well, you know, mm -hmm. and I think all the little techniques and little differences that you see among patients, you, uh, my goal is really to kind of bring all that learning and all that experience and um, essentially apply that individually to each patient. Um, surprisingly, it may not always be that, you know, you just do specifically the Asian surgery for Asian patient. That's actually not right. Um, what's better really is to really use all your experience from all your mm -hmm. patients, really individualize it for the patient. So still from my point of view, there's mm -hmm. art involved. Mm -hmm. It's not exactly like, like uh, daily routine or right. some surgery, right. just you have precisely doing this. It's right. really involves some beauty, you know, some create, mm -hmm. it's create, it's mixed maybe between East, West beauty, mm -hmm. something is good for this right. one, something, the same thing is not for the other one. Right. So that's something with beauty, yeah. with art. So yeah. how do you think of yourself? Yeah. As you study so many school, so many years in the best actually, it's top university mm -hmm. around the world. Mm -hmm. And it's lots of daily routine job. View of the arts yeah. or your imagination. Sure. I think that one thing I like about plastic surgery a lot is I think um, probably more than any other specialty, it's very highly individualized. And so the things that you mentioned as, for example, using an artistic um, eye or artistic judgment and applying that toward surgery, applying that toward the medical sciences, um, I really like that. You know, that's very, it's, it's a, another level of challenge you know, that, um, that is uh, fun to do for myself. I think it's nice for the patients to really, really um, but you're right, I think that the individualization is very important for mm -hmm. the care plan for each patient, the surgical plan for each patient. Um, and I think a lot of that individualization has to do with an artistic concept, to get an idea of what you think you know, looks best for this patient, uh, what uh, is reasonable to do, you know, with a uh, bound of safety, of course, and with regard to uh, keeping things looking natural. So, yeah, I think that using sort of this artistic judgment is a challenge. And, uh, but it's a worthwhile challenge. And I think it's something that is uh, enjoyable and uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I really love plastic surgery. I, mean, I, I love doing what I do. Uh, I think it makes a big difference to patients. And uh, patients are very happy. So in other words, you are the person who loves this challenge. Mm -hmm. When this challenge comes in front of you, you get more home or higher. Mm -hmm. So you make a better job, probably. Yeah. So you love to do this. I do love doing the surgery. Uh, there's no question. I mean, I think for me, um, every time I have an uh, interesting patient that comes in um, with a very specific request, it's, it's, it's nice for me. I'm able to exercise my judgment and kind of bring the training and experience I have to really think about, again, what is the best way to approach this. Um, plastic surgery is very clear. You know, a big part of what we do in plastic surgery is really when we see the patient the first time in consultation, really trying to understand what the concerns are, and at that point, we can very easily. And um, 
I chose plastic surgery as a field mostly because I find it was very precise. It was very, very, um, I think all types of surgery are precise. Whenever you do any kind of surgery, you have to be precise. But in some specialties, maybe there's more of an emphasis in speed, you know, because for example, if the patient's um, hurt and injured or bleeding, the most important thing is to be fast, you know. But with plastic surgery, what I noticed during, tra when I was in medical school, I noticed that plastic surgery really appealed to me because it was so precise. You know, you, you could take your time and do really a perfect job. And then for me, I really, that really appealed to my personality, you know, yeah. When I was young, my sister told me I was very, very particular and very picky about things, you know. So I think that maybe that translated to my professional interest, you know. Uh, 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 uh,我们的,呃,성형에 and then also like a hair transplant, it's a much like we have a very like a reasonable price right now. But you need some help, okay. then you'll be perfect. Okay, so you know, after that, is like it before. possible I can get someone in Korea go to be married? Is it possible? Oh, definitely. Really? <laughs> definitely. May definitely. I ask you? Yeah, me? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, definitely. <laughs> Wow, 
当然我也得试试啊，我应该做点什么呢？呃，以后会变成更帅一点哦。Hello， Hi， Mani Hello， You look so beautiful. May I ask, is it necessary everybody to be very beautiful to work here? Of course. <laughs> wow, so in this case, I guess I don't have a chance to work here. I think you can fix with my Dr. Sue. You're gonna be very handsome, and you can work here. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. You know what? This side, many beautiful girls. Come and look. Here, this somebody wants to marry me. No, 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 no,
欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎你。欢迎